Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. It is the fifth film in the Harry Potter saga. It is no longer directed by Mike Newell. It is now directed by David Yates, who is the permanent director for this franchise now. Even though I'm reviewing a horror movie this month, since it is October, I gotta keep up with my Harry Potter reviews. I gotta review this and have Blood Prince this month, since I, of course, like I said, reviewed two Harry Potter films a month. Lead up to Fantastic Beats. So look forward for my horror reviews. But let's get started with Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. The film opens with Dudley Dursley and his group of friends picking on Harry, mocking him, mocking him about Cedric, about his mother. And in case you guys don't know, I hate the Dursleys. I hate their son. I hate the father. The mother. Just I screw the Dursleys. Screw these people. These are just terrible, terrible people hate these characters, and then Harry and Dudley get chased down by the Dementors. Of course, the Dementors try to take away Dudley's soul, and then Harry saves them and himself, and then he gets a letter saying he's expelled from Hogwarts from using magic outside of the school, and then he gets he gets rescued from the Dursley by Mad-Eye Moody and his other group of people, and then Harry and Dumbledore goes to court, and Dumbledore tries to help him out to get him back to Hogwarts. And, saying, and also, Harry is also having visions and dreams of Lord Voldemort, who is not done with Harry. It's not over between Harry and Lord Voldemort. And basically, that's our film. Like I said in my review of The Goblet of Fire, these next couple of Harry Potter films aren't really my favorites. But these films are still pretty good, especially with this one. This one is very dark. Very, and yeah, the, yeah, this movie is dark, and I mean dark, I mean, all, just like, almost every scene in this movie just, almost like bluish black, or blackish blue, just, just, this whole entire movie is dark, it's dark, it's serious, and it shows that Harry is maturing, him, Hermione, and Ron, and all the students at Hogwarts, they are becoming young adults, I love seeing these characters grow, and develop, that's one of the few things, the great things about these Harry Potter films. You get to see these characters grow. And you definitely see it in this film. My favorite part in this entire film is that Harry, Ron, and Hermione build a group with other Hogwarts students called The Order. Now, this is very cool. Harry is teaching all of the other students these expected Patronus spells, Stupefy spells. It was very cool to see Harry actually is sort of like a teacher and a mentor to these other students. It's very cool to see that. It actually showed that he's actually growing up. Oh my god. Uh. But really, it was really cool to see that Harry is teaching his classmates in Hogwarts of the other spells that he's been taught. It's, that's actually pretty neat and pretty clever for this film. And the chemistry, man, between Harry, Hermione, and Ron, just perfect. 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 Excellent. This is definitely, this is the one of the best parts about this freaking franchise. The chemistry between these three characters. Ugh, I, lo I love this franchise. I really do love this franchise. I love Harry Potter. I love Harry Potter. I love these three characters on screen together. It's amazing. It's wonderful. It's magical. No pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> I think I lost it. <laughs> and of course, we get introduced to new characters in this film, like Dolores Umbridge, which... What is there more to say about Dolores Umbridge? She's just a... I can't say the word on here, I can't say it on here, but she's... Uh, she's... I hate this character. Terrible, terrible person. Good character, but she's a terrible person. Wish she was real. This character, she's, uh, I hate Dolores Umbridge. She was just a, mmm. Hate her, hate her, hate her. She is just, she's, she's that word. Yes. If you guys try to figure out the word, you probably already know what it is. She, but she's that. Also, we get introduced to Luna Lovegood, who is a Ravenclaw, who is more like this free spirited, happy go lucky character. So she's sort of like the hippie. In the Harry Potter franchise, very positive, very calm and peaceful character. And I, I'm kind of glad that we kind of get more like calm and peaceful characters in this Harry Potter franchise. Because that's all we need. We don't need like dark and brooding and monotone characters. Like Severus Snape. 
<laughs> yeah, we need some more happy characters in, in this franchise, which is good. Also, we get introduced to Creature, who is an owl house elf in this film. Also, Hagrid's brother, which, honestly speaking, this one, like I say, was, this is one of my biggest issues about this film. Some of the CGI in this film is pretty bad. It, like, the CGI on the, on Hagrid's giant brother, the, the giant, yeah, I, the CGI on him was pretty terrible. When I first saw that, I'm like, what the heck? And I saw this movie in theaters. I pretty much saw every Harry Potter film in theater, except for Sorcerer Stone and Chamber of Secrets, because I was too young to see those movies. But when I first saw this movie in the theater, theaters, when I first saw Hagrid's brother, I'm just like, that special effects is atrocious. Especially on the fireplace where you see Sirius Black talking to Harry, which was a big downgrade from the fireplace from Goblet of Fire, which looked ten times better in that film than in this film. It looked cheap and it looks fake. And it looks like it just came out of a B movie. Yeah, some of these special effects in this film, not all of them. The special effects are okay for the most part, but some of the other, the ones that I mentioned, yeah, they're pretty bad. They're pretty mediocre. We also get introduced to Bella Latrix, played by Helena Bonham Carter. Now, this character is very sick, twisted, sadistic. I love her gothic appearance to her. It was very cool, and this character recently escaped from Azkaban, and this character is very sick, very twisted, very sadistic. And yeah, it's a very nasty character. Just the character in general. Just very... As soon as you say the name Bellatrix, you're just like... Ooh. She, I mean, she's kind of scary. Helena Bonham Carter in this film kind of scares me. I mean, she does. Now, the final act in this film was fantastic. The Order facing off against the Death Eater was very awesome. The magic in between. They did go battling out. It was epic. It was epic. I remember seeing that movie in theaters back in 2007. 2007 was also a great year for movies, too. Wow, I remember seeing a lot of movies that year. It also had a very emotional scene where Sirius Black gets killed by the Avada Kedavra spell by Bella Latrix. And this scene was very emotional since it kind of refers to a line earlier in the film where Harry says Sirius Black is all the family he has got. And now we're on, on to this scene, Sirius Black is dead. And you can see the emotion on Harry's face that this guy is dead. He's all the family I got. And it's, and it's very emotional, very powerful scene, and no audio. It was just complete silence. You could just, cut. yeah, you kind of get what I'm saying. And also, when he, he was on the verge of just killing Bella Latrix, and then it kind of led on to an awesome scene with Harry and Dumbledore. Actually, Dumbledore was facing off against Voldemort. Awesome scene, awesome, awesome scene, great stuff. Then Harry gets possessed by Lord Voldemort, and he tries to fight it out in his body. Very dark, very almost scary scene where he gets possessed by Voldemort. See Harry's face. Ugh. And then, he beats Voldemort by saying he doesn't know love or friendship, and he feels very sorry for him. And I was like, yeah, Harry, it's the power of love. The power of love, Harry. I'm clapping because this franchise is awesome. The Order of the Phoenix may not be my favorite in the franchise, but it's definitely not the worst. I love seeing these characters grow and develop into young adults. That's what I love about this franchise. And I love seeing more what's coming to them in these next few films, which we're going to talk about very soon. Guys, we're almost done. We're almost done. I can't believe it. It's going by very fast, too. Wow, time fly by fast. I'm going to give Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix a B+. Plus. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Look forward for my review of the Half-Blood Prince coming to you very soon. And guys, I'm just letting you know right now, that is my least favorite Harry Potter film. But I will explain why in that review, so stay tuned for that. So let me know what you guys think of the Order of the Phoenix in the comment section down below. And as always, guys, if you are new to my channel and you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.